Hey everyone, how's it going? John from Another Defined by Studios here, and today I want to share with you how you can record in your automation in Ableton Live. So we kind of touched on this a little bit in the previous tutorial on volume automation, uh, but in this one we're going to be going in a little bit more in depth and we're going to be talking about how you can record your automation in both the arrangement view and the session view. So I have some synth chords right here. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be automating the frequency on this filter right here. Usually when you want to record something in, you usually record arm on the track. But when we're doing automation, we actually want to just make sure that this button is armed. And this is the record automation arm button. So if it's grayed out, that means that you cannot record in your automation. And when it is yellow, that means that it's enabled and that you can record your automation. So once that's enabled, all you have to do is press record and you can record in your automation. And as you can see, our automation for the filter has been recorded in. And that's how you record in automation in the arrangement view. So let's go on ahead and take a look at the session view because this is a little bit different. So here's a baseline that we're going to do a little automation to. So to keep it simple, we'll just be automating another auto filter on this. Let me go ahead and put that in the audio effects rack. And what we're going to be doing is once again, we're going to be automating the frequency on this auto filter. So now when you're recording automation in the session view, what you're actually going to press is this button right here. And this is how you record to a clip. But you want to make sure that you have the automation arm button on. And then once you do, you're ready to record in your automation to the clip. And as we can see here, the automation has been recorded to the clip. All right, so as you can tell, we didn't really have a count in when we did that. So if you actually want a count in when you record, actually hit the record arm button on the track itself, and that will give you a count in when you recorded the clip. Once again, if we take a look at the clip, we can see that we have recorded in our automation. And that's it. That's how you can record in your automation in either the arrangement view or the session view. And this isn't just limited to auto filters. You can do this on any parameter that Ableton allows you to automate. Hope this video helped you guys out. Hope you learned something. If you did, feel free to give this video a like. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel for future production tips and tutorials. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.